Hey YouTubers, welcome back to another episode of Vintage Diecast Restoration. I've got a mail call today, Saturday morning, and I've got a package from Jay Harvey. Um, if you guys don't know Jay, Jay is one of the consigners, resellers on the Vintage Matchbox Live group. Um, so he runs consignment auctions, and Jay gets some really, really good stuff. So this is probably going to be a little bit longer video because it's going to take me a while to go through it. Um, when uh, when Jay has an auction up, I know uh, I'm going to be spending some money because um, he's just got really, really amazing quality models. So I'm going to try to go through. These are uh, from an auction a couple weeks ago. Um, and some stuff I've really, really been looking forward to in this. So up first, the canteen, the mobile canteen. Um, I have one of these that I'm gonna do a restoration on. It's got a busted tow hook on it. Um, but this one was really, really good shape. And there were two of these in a lot and I was able to pick up both of them. Um, decals are pretty good on that. It's got some play wear, some high edge wear and stuff. Um, but just a nice little surviving piece, just a little survivor model. And uh, I love it. Um, so happy to add that to the collection. Super excited to get that. I got, what's next? And you see how, how nicely all of these are wrapped too. Um, most of the auction guys and gals um, do a really good job with these models. So we've got a Morris J2 pickup truck. I just posted a restoration of one of these. Um, and it was the only one that I had um, was was the restored one and Every time I find them they tend to be really expensive. I got this one for a steal um, At the auction got a really good price on it It is missing the decals and that might be something that I go ahead and put back on this But I don't think I'll do a restoration on it. I, I kind of like um, Just having some of these that are kind of rusty crusty play worn um, and that one's not in bad shape at all. So I might just do a little cleanup, get some of the sticky stuff out of the bed and off the sides, and uh, put the decals back on and enjoy it how it is. I got one. What's that one, Mac? It's a bus. It's not a bus. This is the Marshall Horse Box. Um, I have one of these in my collection, and this is uh, one of the older models. It's a metal wheel model. And this has a problem that almost all of these do, and that is that it's missing this door on the side. And I know you can get reproductions of them, um, I, and I think the, the reproductions are metal, um, but the rest of this model was just in really, really good shape. It's got a little bit of scratches on the top, but again, for something that's close to 75 years old, um, I was pretty impressed by how nice this one still looks. So, um, happy to pick that one up as well. I hey, got one. You got one. What do you got? I got this one. That is a refuse collector. So, that's the Carrier Refuse Collector made in England. Um, this one had a slight issue. It's missing the back panel, and I know I can get those reproduction. Um, I've got quite a few of these, at least three or four of them, but uh, most of the other ones I have are silver, and this one, as you can see, is gray, and that's a much harder variation to find um, on these older metal wheel models. Um, the gray was just a little bit more rare, so I uh, saw that, decided I had to have that. Um, again, picked it up really reasonable. Oh, I know what this one is. So this is another builder supply van. Um, so you can see both of these were up in the auction and uh, wasn't much interest on them. I was really surprised. So this is the other canteen uh, that was in the auction. Um, again, both of these came up as a pair. And uh, I bought these for the same reason that I bought both of the Builder Supply, and that was to uh, complete all my variations. So 
The restoration I did was a metal wheel model. This is a gray plastic wheel model, and this is a black plastic wheel model. So between those three now, I have all the different wheel variations on that casting. And I bought both of these for the same reason. Um, this is a gray plastic wheel, and this is the harder to find silver plastic wheel. Um, as you can see, really nice decals on that one as well. Um, still, you know, high play wear and stuff. It's got some little grody, crusty stuff that we're gonna have to clean off on there. Um, but all in all, pretty nice little model. And I uh, was excited to be able to get both of these and finish all the variation types for that casting in my collection. So this little guy, this is actually my, uh, my most popular video on the restoration channel right now is uh, the restoration of the Rent-A-Set van. And I've got quite a few of these models. It's one of my favorite castings. I just love the playability of it with the operable door and you can put the ladder on the top, take it off. Um, and I think that's why it was a favorite with kids too. I got another one. So I couldn't pass that up. Um, decals are in great shape on that. And so um, got a good price on it. And again, when I'm buying at an auction, I like to fill a box, save on the shipping. So here we've got a 10 ton pressure refueler. Um, I have followed these for a really long time. Um, I think it's just such a neat little casting and uh, speaks to kind of the influence of the war era on which toys were made. Uh, this was done up originally with an Air Force blue paint job and it has a little uh, target that apparently whatever child owned this decided they didn't like that decal up there and scratched it off. But uh, I think this might be a candidate for a sympathetic restoration. Um, I don't want to strip it and totally redo it, but I might touch up that area on the top and restore the decal up there. Um, and those are, sometimes those are kind of fun to do too. So excited to get that one and it's not in bad shape. And as you can see, most of these models are play worn. They've got edge wear. Um, they've all got some little condition issues, but you know, most of the uh, consigners too, they, they really know the value of stuff. So most of these auctions, when they're starting out, you know, they're not, eBay prices. We're not paying twenty and thirty and fifty dollars a car. Um, most of these, you know, a starting bid might be two or three dollars, maybe five dollars if it's something really hard to find. And so, um, I've always gotten pretty good deals. I I thought very fair pricing uh, on the online auctions. So, um, this is a model. I think I actually got two or three of these in here. Um, this is kind of a special model to me because this is one of the ones that I had as a kid. And uh, as you can see, this one had original treads. It's got uh, a little damage there. And I don't know if that happened in shipping or if it was like that uh, when it was sold. But uh, it's kind of too bad. Um, because other than that, this model is really nice. It's got just a few little nicks. Uh, it's got the green glass and the raised letters. Um, and I do now have all the different variations of the snow track with the ones with the decals and um, the one that just has the uh, cast raised letters on it. Got the uh, Denver fire truck. Uh, again, some of these things, you know, I've got two, three, four of them, but uh, when we're doing a live auction and they come up, and there's not a lot of interest or something's going to go for $2 or $3, I'll go ahead and pick it up. Um, and so this is kind of a nice little model. This one I probably won't even stick in the collection. Um, this is the kind of thing I think that uh, just deserves to be enjoyed. So that, that, goes, that goes straight to the kiddos. Here we've got a steak truck. Nice little model. These uh, these aren't terribly hard to find. This one's not in great shape, but uh, not too bad. Uh, one really nice thing about it is all the plastic is intact. I think it's got one little crack right back in there. And that's barely noticeable and something that can be 
easily fixed with just a little bit of care in that. So, um, nice little truck. Let's see what else we got in here? Okay, so we're getting into some of the box models now. Um, on the online auctions, you know, it's hit or miss as to how many they have as original in-box models and how many are just uh, loose. Um, but they know that I'm their guy when it comes to original boxes. And I don't know if all collectors are like that or not. I know some people could care less about the boxes, but I, I really enjoy having an original box with a model. So here we've got, this is number 28. I believe that's a Mercedes. No, a Jaguar. Jaguar MK10. Um, and I've got a couple of these. This one's not in bad shape. Still got the hood attached and working. Um, tow hook is intact. And the uh, box is missing an end flap. Um, and so I think this is a good candidate for an end flap restoration. Uh, you've seen those on some of my box restorers. And uh, that'd be an easy fix on that model. And then last but not least, Got a couple of race cars. These things are like rabbits in my collection. Um, they just keep uh, kind of proliferating. And these are two really nice copies. Um, these boxes are darn near perfect. It's got a little crease in it, but um, definitely something I can live with. And uh, the models look to be really, really nice as well. Um, I'll go through and do a, a collection sort on these eventually. I might shoot a video when I do that, um, going through how I kind of grade my cars and put my best models with my best boxes, but uh, this one's not in bad shape at all. Uh, most of the decals are intact. It's a little dirty, dusty, might need some cleaning up, but um, I really bought this more for the box than for the model. And then last but not least, we've got our number five or number 52, <laughs> race car number five, the BRM. And I've got several of these models. A couple I think I want to do as uh, customs or restorations, but uh, this is a nice original model. Um, it's got most of the decals intact on there. Driver's yeah. in, and he's got the steering wheel. So uh, nice little, little piece to pick up and an original box that I didn't have in my What's that? What? A A what? A You know what? I think I think that Jay that just for you. Yeah, I think he knows that you open cars with me and that you love bulldozers. And I think he picked that out and wrapped it up and sent it just for you. Are you excited about that? Uh -huh. All right, that's gonna do it for this week for another episode. Oh, oh, I almost forgot. Look at this. These go with the uh, the rent -a set van. I've got the, I don't have a complete set, he's missing the ladder, but guess what? I've got a ladder. Um, and I think these are reproductions, so. Um, that'll be nice. I'm gonna finish out uh, that and have another original survivor piece. So uh, appreciate it as always. And uh, for those of you that uh, haven't yet um, heard of or, or don't know what I'm talking about with the Facebook Live auctions, um, there's a really great um, channel or a page on Facebook called Vintage Matchbox Live. And they do. Um, yeah. Live auctions on Facebook uh, once a week, every two weeks, something like that. And uh, great guys, really good, high quality stuff, and um, pretty decent prices. And so, as an alternative to uh, eBay and some of the other, you know, kind of crazy, ridiculous stuff, um, I've been doing those live auctions and been really, really pleased. So, check it out, Vintage Matchbox Live. That's going to do it for us for this week. Uh, see us next week for another episode of Vintage Diecast Restoration.
and you say, thanks, Jay. Thanks, Jay. Do you like that?